Wow, what an amazing song there from Shante Moore. I'm sure that no one else is playing that song but me right here on the Studio 236. We're going to our telephone lines. We're going to travel down 95, maybe 85, and see who we have on uh, the telephone line. Good morning. You're live on the Song of the Gospel. Tell me, who, who is this? Good morning, sir, but this is Mr. Jenkins. <laughs> You're gonna give you're gonna give me a great laugh before I get off the radio. Oh yeah, sure. But I call to have some fun and to talk about some Jesus <laughs> and to talk about some more stuff that's going on. You know, Lord, first of all, you know I'm tired. I've been babysitting for my granddaughter. That boy the Angel Lewis Barber. Oh Lord Jesus. <laughs> He got out in the street last night on the river and the running, and Lord, how much of this baby buddy is just in one of those feet, child. I shouldn't get my eyes all puffy right now. <laughs> when wow. I give glory to the Lord, and I love, you know, y'all know I love myself and Jesus. Yes, and how do you I'm lo- just so excited. Yeah, how do you love Jesus? How do I know him? How do you love him, too? Oh, uh, oh, how I love Jesus. <laughs> Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, I love Jesus simply because Jesus loves me. Yes. If it, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, tell me where I am. Mm. I love Jesus. <laughs> now when I be one oh, Lord. Oh, you're, you're, you're so amazing. You really are. What's your testimony of faith and deliverance, Mother? <laughs> Say what, my sugar? What's your testimony of faith and deliverance? My testimonial faith is I know the Lord has uh, brought me from a month. There's some things that I have faced that I know I couldn't have made it. I go if Jesus wouldn't have been on my side because who am I? I am nobody great. I don't come out of nothing on my own. I hear you. The Lord provides everything I need. I knew that's right. Let me ask you something, Mother. You enjoy listening to our station? Yes, I do. Sugar, who I just love to hear y'all. You remember Michael, Lord, Jesus. Uh-huh. How old is he anyway? He's doing good. He didn't come in today. Okay. Well, tell him, tell him I miss you, Sugar. Tell him I love Miss Daniel when he's 12. I would definitely tell Michael that. And he's probably listening in, so go ahead and say hi to Michael. Hey, Michael. How you doing? Keep your lift it up. And we're going to make sure that you get that voice back on the air now. You keep doing what you're doing. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm, indeed. And we appreciate you so much. What city are you in, Mother? I'm in Macon, Georgia, Sugar. Wow, you're down in Macon, Georgia. I got to get down mm-hmm. there. I got to get down there. Oh, yeah, you need to come on, Sugar. Do you want some good, some good southern hospitality and some good food, <laughs> Lord Jesus? We got your fat when you go back home. <laughs> well, I'm trying to lose a few pounds down, but you know I can go with some fish and grits. Mm, now you know that's our special thing. Fish, beef, and cheese, and sugar. Mm, make your bite your fingers off. Fish be so good. <laughs> that's what's up. We appreciate you calling in. What are your plans the rest of the day, Mother? Well, my plans for the rest of the day is to just sit back and relax and uh, try to give me some rest. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I want to tell you about, uh, y'all, you know, um, I know y'all up there in Philadelphia, and it's this young man. Who uh, lives down here with Macon, Georgia, with me? This is my, this is my other grandson. Mm-hmm. Uh, they call him Shelton Land. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he got this play called "You You Get Back What You Put Out." Mm-hmm. Now I love that title because it makes so much sense. And you know his character is just crazy, Jesus. Yes, he, he is. Got this character called Bossy. Be dressed up in some cheetah stuff and cheetah shoes and steps, Lord. <laughs> I've been wondering about my baby sometimes, but I know I know that I love it. <laughs> Yes, he was just he was just here, and we're looking forward to him coming back for this great play on October the twelfth. Oh yeah, that one is coming. It's going to be in Philadelphia at the Clear Club, Club, Sugar. Yeah, are you? Are it's you? Are you have two shows. Yeah, are you coming, Mother? Oh yes, I'm going to be. I got to be there because both of my children are there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward I to meeting you. Yes, Lord, Lord, and then them two right there, they they work so good together. They're going to have you. Wow. Mother Jenkins, well, go ahead and tell our Philadelphians, um, tell our people that are listening and watching us why they need to come and see, um, you know, Shelton, better known as Bossy, and probably meet you, Mother Jenkins. Well, first of all, you need to come see it because it's very enjoyable, but not if, if you want some entertainment, if they call it down here. 
where you where you you get educated, but you entertained at the same time. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that's the perfect place to be, because they 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 got some good gems in in their storyline or some good knowledge. Yeah. And the truth of the fact is, you do get back what you put out. You got to be careful what you do to people, sugar, because mm-hmm. you know. Uh, whatever you do is gonna come back to you because the Bible says you shall reap what you show. That's right. You shall reap what you sow, so you got to be careful what you do to people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, and, uh, J- this storyline is uh-huh. so, uh, it's, it's, it's so much singing and some good gospel singing and some good, some sports oh, gonna take you down on the inside. If you, if you got any kind of issues within yourself, some of this stuff might make you re, reanalyze yourself. I know that's right. Mm-hmm. So you need to be there. I mean, it's just always going to have, we're going to have so much going. You might see Mother Jenkins come up downstairs. I might do the bus <laughs> stop one time. Oh, yeah, shut up, shut up. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Well, Mother Jenkins, we thank you so much for calling in from down here in Georgia. And it's going to be on October the 12th, um, two shows. And I'm looking forward to really being there. And, you know, we spare hitting a lot of the media stuff. And, Mother Jenkins, real quick before we go, what encouraging words can you share to people out there today? Um, let's see, sugar. I've got so much I could say. Um, an encouraging word that I could share with people to, huh, okay, well, <laughs> number one is always, uh, keep your eye on the prize. I know that's right. And remember that that prize is Jesus. Yes. And keep that strong faith and know that all things are possible through He that strengthens us. And if you need anything done, trust and believe in Jesus and know that Jesus will take care and supply all your everlasting needs. I know that's right. But you gotta have your heart right now. If you just can't go ask Jesus for something that you ain't done nothing for Him. Mother Jenkins, thank you for sharing that. You know, I believe you can sing too. But I don't, I don't oh, know. yes, I can, sure. I can. I, I, I know you can sing something. I'm going to go ahead and say. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, <amazing. laughs> oh, how sweet the sound. Well, y'all ain't going to go. My, my, well, my grandbaby. <laughs> Oh, let me get this one. Now, this is one y'all need to hear right now. Angel, come here, baby. Angel, come here. Don't you look at me like that, boy. I slap your eyeballs out. Come here. Come on, he ain't going to show you. He ain't going to show you. Now, this boy, here, Lord, don't come out your folks here. You shouldn't stay out all night. Hold on. Okay. Hello? Hello? Hey, Miss Simone. Hi, who says? This is D'Angelo, man. D'Angelo Barber. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? How are you? I'm oh, good, man. This lady here, I walked past because, you know, outside of East past her room. <laughs> He's like, hey, boy, come in. Oh, grandma, don't hit me. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't talk about it right now. She's standing here looking at him, so I'm not going <laughs> to tell you wow. about that later on. We appreciate you so much, man. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you here for the play. Oh, yeah, man. I'm I'm ready for that. I'm so excited. That's going to be a big show for me. I mean, I'm, the cast is already amped up. We pumped. Um, and, you know, of course, we, we're all excited because we're working with a great producer and director. And what I, I, what I love most about Shelton is the fact that he's not one of those kind of people that just wants to use you and people use you up and don't, and don't try to do nothing for you. Shelton is right. one of those kind of people that if he believes in you, mm-hmm. he's going to push you. He's going to push you. He, he, he's going to motivate you. Like, he'll just call me at the spur of the moment, like, yo, dude, what you doing? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, nothing. He's like, okay, good. We'll get dressed. I'm going to come get you from the road. Right. Which is how we ended up in Philly. That's you know, right. I ended up being in Philly with him promoting the play. That's great. And and we were glad to be able to have you guys here at the studio and, and uh to and to meet you as well. You you're an amazing guy and and uh I, I know you cut hair good, so when you come back up for the play, I know you're gonna do Simone's hair, right? <laughs> oh yeah, of course. You know I mean? I'm gonna have my clippers this time. I was just the last time, but this time I'm gonna be ready. That's great, man. We appreciate you so much and Mother Jenkins, boy, she just touched me today before we get ready to get off the radio. We just love Mother Jenkins. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's my grandma. She'll miss, man. I love her to death. Thank you, man. I know. I love her to life. <laughs> I know that's right. So we thank you for your telephone call. Do you want to say anything else uh, to our Philly uh, listeners and viewers about this play on October the 12th at the Clef Club of Jazz and Performing Arts? Yeah. Um, just make sure that y'all come out, man. It's going to be very enjoyable. Um, it's, 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 it's thought-provoking. It's moving. You want to hear some good singing. You want to have some good laughs. You want to have your soul stirred. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just come in and enjoy this play because it's from beginning to end. Yeah. There's nothing that you won't enjoy. That's what's and, 
that's always a song. If you're going through something, some of this stuff we're actually we're, we're trying to destroy some yoke here. Yeah. Break every chain that Tasha Carl would say. Um, and in the beginning of the play, we come on saying, "We Sunday come, wow. my troubles gone, and as as we get here, I'll have a new Oh, yes. So, you know, that's when, when those troubles are disappear and that new song comes about, that, that means there's a change coming in your life. You just got to stay strong and stay steadfast and mm-hmm. keep your eyes and, and your face turned towards Jesus. Thank you so much, man. We really appreciate that. Folks, tickets are 20 and $25. Uh, you can get yours today, and we appreciate you, D'Angelo. And Mother Jenkins, tell her to please bring me a southern dish when she comes. Oh, yeah, hold on. She's she saying right here. She said, I bet I hang with the phone where I let okay. her say Hold on. Here's your grandma. You still here? Yeah, sugar. <laughs> um, now, I told you I want some saying I like to slap them off that chair. I know I like to slap them so hard. I just want to knock them out sometimes. <laughs> Mother Jenkins, you're not going to forget Simone, are you? No, babe, I can't forget you. No, no, sure. I'm going to make sure when I make, I make sure when I come up there mm-hmm. that I, I if I got to come to your house and cook for you, sure, I do. Ooh. <laughs> I like that now. <laughs> you know I like you to know, be grandma, served. Grandma, that's what grandma do. We take care of our babies, sugar. Yeah, we take care of our children. I appreciate that. And we're going to show you some Philadelphia love, okay? Oh, I'm ready for it. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you, Mother Jenkins and D'Angelo. You guys have a great day. We love you from Philly, and we're looking forward to seeing you on October the 12th, okay? Okay, we look forward to seeing you too, baby. Okay, bye-bye. I'll be blessed now. Okay, sweetie. Bye-bye.